Hi everyone, I am back with a monthly Christmas craft um, that I'd like to share with you. And this will be my um, Christmas uh, project for the month of January. And I think that's, um, yeah, this is my first project for uh, of Christmas. And I know it's, um, it's either late for last Christmas, right? Or really early for next. But um, what I want to do is I want to be able to build my um, inventory for the boutique that my sister and I participate in um, in the late fall um, and so I just thought instead of trying to cram everything into like the last month before the boutique or something I thought I'd try to take my time and do it um, just along the way so I'm gonna try and see how this goes um, so I have a few easel cards I wanted to share with you and I created the cards using uh, this paper pad from Recollections. It's called Ice Crystals. And I bought it a couple years ago and fell in love with how shimmery and wintry it looked and swore that I was going to um, uh, decorate my Christmas tree uh, in this color combo and I, I haven't done that yet. So um, my daughter saw these cards and said, you know what, Mom, we need to do that next year. So we might have our color scheme ready for next year. Um, but I just love this paper pad, and it's got some really pretty patterns. There's glitter, there's foil um, in silver and in gold, and just lots of snowflakes. So I, I really liked it. So let me start with card number one, okay? So for this one, what I did was I uh, did the top of the card. I traced a six by six chipboard album from uh, used to be from the dollar bins from Mike um, yeah from Michaels and um, I had a page left over from a mini album I, I completed a long time ago and I thought oh I don't have the big die so maybe I can just trace it and it'll work and it did and I'm glad I, I did that I really like how it turned out so um, so it's kind of in the top note shaped it's got two layers of paper uh, from the collection. I've got a white doily in the center that for the most part got covered up but it's kind of peeking through and I like how that looks. And then I've got a gold, or I'm sorry, a silver a doily that I cut in half and just tucked in um, under different places here. And then um, this is a cut apart from the collection and uh, I layered that on some paper and then I layered that on top of some cereal boxes that I cut up um, to use to kind of give it some dimension and I thought that's definitely a lot cheaper than foam uh, foam squares so um, I've, uh, I'm doing that now and I've got some random bling I've got some snowflake punches and some foam glittered um, snowflakes from the dollar store this is a snowflake um, ornament from the dollar store from years ago and just more layers and then these flowers I didn't have any poinsettias in my stash so I just decided to use some white and silver ones um, they are both from recollections and just kind of make a cluster there um, and then there is some flat back pearl trim um, along the top and the bottom and that's how the inside looks and the card sits like that so that one I really really liked how that one turned out okay Card number two, I decided to not use any gray and I went uh, to using black because I wanted to, I knew his hat, um, the snowman's hat was going to be black and I wanted the buttons to be black. So I thought instead of adding in another color, I thought I'd just do away with the gray and add the black instead. And I really like how that looks. I did use a scallop punch at the bottom here. And again, um, I just used the silver flowers um, as kind of the base for the snowflakes and then layered all the different size snowflakes on top. Um, I added dew drops for the center and in the center of these um, snowflakes on the pattern paper. And then um, let's see and then this uh, snowman I've had in my stash for 10 plus years easy um, 10 plus years um, when I first started scrapbooking. Um, anyway and so I just pieced him together a little bit, uh, traced a hat, and then added a ribbon here for his scarf, and then drew on his face, and added this cute um, bow with this organza ribbon and centered a snowflake in there. And then this is some pearl and lace trim that I just used along the bottom here to kind of make it look like snow, um, is what it kind of reminded me of. And the inside, 
as the stopper I used the other piece and then the leftover was what I used on his hat because that's all I had and that's how that one sits again I did do the scallop on the bottom of this one as well I really like how that one looks as well super cute okay and then card number three it's probably the most um, glittery of all of them <laughs> um, and on this one I have some some striped gold um, glittered paper and then the gray snowflake paper on top of that and then I've got three doilies on here uh, I've got the two silver ones and then the white one that I cut in half and kind of tucked in under this um, cut apart here and I did again used a uh, cereal boxes cut apart there underneath to kind of give it some dimension and I added some bling um, throughout and then this is also a cut apart um, and then uh, let's see I've got some white and um, oh what do you call it diamond bling I guess and I just had that in my stash and I literally had just enough I think I cut off just one of these um, little diamonds and the rest um, I used it up and let's see I just made a little bow here with some blue organza ribbon um, that I had in my, kind of my baby uh, boy stash of stuff and then there's some more snowflakes uh, there's another one here again the silver flowers are kind of the base for the snowflakes and I just love how that looks so shimmery very very pretty and it's heavy it's, it is heavy and then there's the other part of that bling and another snowflake and that one sits like that so those are my cards uh, my Christmas project for this month I guess and hopefully I'll be able to follow through with this and um, stick to it um, kind of keep me um, focused on our boutique and um, just making it hopefully a little bit easier come fall um, I'm not in such a crunch to uh, to try to make um, stuff to have um, to fill our, our table so anyway I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching and happy new year again see you soon bye bye